Hello everyone, in this video I would like to show you all the supplies that you will need to create this beautiful Christmas card. So I will start by telling you about the paper first and we will use a 140 pound um, cold press acid free watercolor paper. You can use either in bigger sizes 9x12 or you can use a smaller um, albums like that which is easy basically we'll make a card in here and then we can trim it off and card is ready or if you like you can use cards like these they already come with envelopes and folded cards see like that and I'll be posting another video shortly um, on how to prepare the paper and the cards. So you will also need paints and I use different kind of paints. Um, these are one of my favorite ones. They're liquid. Very um, comfortable to use them and mix them with water. And I also use pencils. That's my set. Um, also, you know, it's uh, a little bit easier to use, I find, than paints. But again, it depends on technique and what you're painting. Then I'll tell you about um, just some basics. So we'll need pencils, either this or that, whichever you are comfortable with. And these are my erasers, basically. They are um, hard when you buy them, but then when you play with them a little bit, you can take a little piece and just soften them between your fingers. They become very soft. And why I like these uh, erasers better is because they don't leave any flakes behind. And they're um, much nicer picking up, you know, all the pencil from your paper. So I would recommend to buy one of these better than regular erasers. Um, next thing I will show you, we'll need some rulers, small and big, or whatever ruler you have. I also find metal ones better, just because of the way they lay on the paper, better than wooden ones. You will probably need a hole puncher, however, if you're using the folded cards, then you won't need it. Also, if you're painting just for yourself, then you also will not need it. The brushes that we will use, probably only three, but you can um, get yourself brush number one, definitely. And brush number six or five. Very soft ones, as you can see. And then we'll need just one of these. If you don't have something fluffy like that, then maybe something like that. But they need to be a little bit bigger uh, to put the water on the paper you'll see for the background. Then we'll also need one jar of gouache white. Um, white gouache goes better at the end to create like snow effect or just pure white to do some corrections. If you think you messed up a little bit somewhere with darker colors, it doesn't run as watercolor does on the paper. So that's why I prefer to have always this white gouache beside me in case. Oh, and this is the piece when it's soft. See, I used it quite a lot, but that's how it will look like after you soften it. Okay, and then we will probably use glitter. There are two different kinds of glitter that I like to use. One is in like a um, jelly kind of thing you squeeze, but why um, I don't use it as often is because it will be raised on a paper. And sometimes that's not the effect we're trying to get. So I use the loose glitter. As you can see, they're sold in jars and little packets, and then I put them in these little containers, most comfortable to use. But if you're going to use loose glitter, you'd probably want to get a glue. And I like this one because it's a water-based glue and it doesn't uh, leave any traces on the paper. And then you will need just one brush, any brush, um, really. Uh, small one 
if you can find because we will be picking up the glitter from the jar and then tapping over the glue so we don't like use a lot of glitter and also don't create a lot of mess so this this is the way i use it and then you will need whichever colors you like white red silver then we will need palettes these are my working palettes so obviously they're all messy with all the colors in here um but something like that will be great what else we'll need two jars i use two jars always when i paint i like to clean my brush first from the paint and then rinse it off again to make sure it's clean and then i will pat it on either a cotton cloth or a paper towel so these will once we'll also need one or the other or both when we're working uh, and uh, preparing the paper you will need scissors knife and a huge brush to put the water over but again i'll be posting a video uh, where you will see how to prepare for that and finally if you are going to hole punch the card just like um, on the sample right here we will need ribbons and those ones are up to you which color you like i also had the yellow one somewhere didn't bring it to show you but anything like that thinner will be nicer for the cards and i'll show you two ways how you can uh, use them and we will be preparing our paper similar to this this actually exactly like this and uh, painting on it while it's taped on to the board so you'll probably need to get some kind of board for yourself like this or um, I'm sure we'll all have at home some old cooking boards or something like that that we can you know put the tape over and I'm seeing that this one is already kind of coming off so I'll have to redo this one but it shouldn't really it should stay firmly on the board for you to paint on and I will show you how to take off uh, the tape afterwards when we're done so again this will be our final piece and um, yeah I think that's it then you will also need some tapes but again as I said I will be po posting another video where I will be showing you all these materials and how to prepare your papers so thank you so much and I cannot wait to have a life with you next Friday. Take care, guys.